hi welcome to my channel thanks for stopping by in this video we are going to be doing the continuation of the previous video if you have not watched it please try to check it out in that video i taught us how to cut flat skirt and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to sew it so i want you to get your fabric close to yourself and let's do it together so last time Please try to watch the previous video. You will see it there. So that you understand where we are coming from. So last time I did some. A lot of explanation. But there's something I did not explain. Because the video was getting too long. This is the back of the skirt. And this is the zip allowance. To get the measurement. To know everything about the measurement I used here. Check out the previous video. Okay. Then in that video, I did not explain when I cut the front of the skirt. This is the skirt. You will fold your fabric into two. And when you watch that video, you will see how I measure or rather the measurement I use cutting the back of the skirt. Then after cutting the back of the skirt, you will measure your minus two inches just like so from here. You can see that this back, the back side is longer than the front side. These two inches is the zip allowance. This is the front. I folded it into two. You can see it. So I also cut the flat, the damp part of the skirt, which is the flat now. But I did not do a lot of explanation and I promised my viewers that I'm going to explain to them how I, you know, I cut the flag. This is the upper side. This is the down part of it. So the person style is 42 inches. So you cut exactly 42. This is the 42 inches. Then you fold it into two. You have your 21 inches for the 21 inches into two then here is your 10 and a half inches then this 10 and a half inches fold it again this is fled this is what we have here now you can see that it's not up to five and a half and it's more than five inches so we are going to be cutting exactly what we have here. You fold your fabric into four, into four places like this. This is, this is already into two. This is into two now. Look at it. Let me show it to you. This is, this fabric is folded into two. Look at it. Then fold it into two, a double it like this again. You can see that fold it into two again that is it's into four now then you fold it again look at it you fold it again like this then you measure the persons you are not going to measure the measurement i'm taking here because the person you are showing it for may not be the same measurement with this very one you will measure the person's measurement what you will have here my was five inches and two lines like this you mark it here then the person's length you minus the person's half length which is 18 inches you make sure it's the person's measurement you know it's not this measurement you are using i'm just trying to show you okay then after you have measured the person's measurement you have gotten what you want mine is 19 and a half this 19 and a half you will measure it round you measure 19 and a half here do your tape like this measure 19 and a half just be going like that measure 19 and a half 19 and a half 19 and a half to this place that you you mark it and cut it this is the back part of the skirt from this place to this place is where i'm going to fix the zip I'm going to sew this place now. 
there and I will also sew this place with four inches. Let's go to my sewing machine. This is the front skirt. This is the upper side. If you watch the part one of this video, you will see why I notched this place. So from this notch now, I'm going to measure half inch here. And mark it from this place to this notch. I'm going to be cutting this place. If you don't trim this place and you fix your band here, when you wear your skirt, the front will be raising. So this is the front skirt. What we are going to do now, I'm just going to mark from this place to this place, four inches. I mark from this place to this place, four inches. Then you roll it. I'm going to sew this place. That line you normally have in front of your skirt, that two lines. So I'm going to do the other side like that. I'm going to sew this place. It's the same thing I'm going to do to the back side before I fix the zip. Yeah. This side will be tiny. This side will be half inch. So this is the dart. I've already sewed it. This is the back side. So I'm going to iron it so that we can fix the zip. This is the front side. Now you understand what I was talking about. This two line that is to be in the front of your skirt. So we are going to iron it. And when you are ironing it, make sure it face the side, the both that face each other. This is the back side. Yes, this is the zip allowance. I've also ironed this side. Now, right now, I'm going to fix the zip. This is the skirt band. So, I will advise you to watch the part one so that you will understand it better, okay? What I'm going to do now, I'm going to iron gun stain on this side of it, the back side of it. I'm using black gun stain. This is the shiny side that I will iron to the to the fabric. You know the band is five inches. After that five inches, I cut two and a half inches because I'm going to fix it on one side of the band. So this is the gum stain. This is the back of the fabric. This is the back. This is the gum stain. This is the shiny parts. The shiny parts will be upside down. This one is two and a half. Why this one is five inches? This one is two and a half inches. So I'm going to iron it from this side to the ending. And I will be doing it off camera. I will iron this side now to make it equal. From this place to the ending right now you will measure the person's waist and the hip and the tie and bring it together i'm just trying to curve it to shaping it that is what i am doing now i will also shape the other side like this but remember you are going to measure the waist the hip and the tie it is the inches that remain that you are going to divide into two i'm going to take it to the machine and sew it like this the both side i'm going to sew this lace on top of the skirt this is the front side to add more beauty i will sew this side now to the ending then i will also sew this side i've already sewed this place now i've joined the side i've joined the both side so the next thing now, this is the flared. So this is the one that is going to be here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to flip this side to the side. 
so that I can sew it like this. Just going to sew it round. The next thing we are going to do is to fix the band like this and sew this side from here. Not like this, no, like this. We sew from here to this place. Then also the other side from here to this side. Then after that, after I finish sewing it, when I finish sewing it like that, I'm going to sew this side. This is the side that is going to show outside. This is the one that is going inside this side. So I'm going to sew it from the inside like this. You know, that time we have already sewed this side. When I finish sewing it now, it's going to be like this. When I sew that side, I showed you before. Because I'm going to do everything off camera. When I sew it, it will be like this. Hmm? It's going to be like this after sewing it. So this side of it, I'm going to put it here. No, I'm going to sew it from like this. I'm going to sew it from this side like this now sew it like this this side no i'm not going to sew this side yet but this side sew this side and this side together round i'll sew it round then after sewing it this one will not go i will not put this one inside this one is going to come out like this that will not be on top let me sew it and come back i've sewed this side now I've sewed it already from here to here. Look at it. I did sew it to the end. Here. So what I need to do now is to turn it like this. Then I'm going to sew it on the waist. So this is the the back. This is the front. So we are going to sew the band from here. This very one will be here. I'm going to sew it like this now. Make sure it's equal here. This very place to this place is equal. So I'll sew it like this round. Without this one. No. Like this. Round. Then after, this is the waist, remember. So after sewing the band, we're going to use this one to cover this side now. How are we going to do it? First of all, make sure you push in this one, the damp part. As you can see that, I got the top stick here, round. So let's do it now. I'm through with the waistband. One is longer than this one. This one is the one that we have the I'm going to fix hook and eye. I'll fix the hook here. The eye will be here. So, if you are fixing button, you put the button here and you put the button hole here. And always make sure it's equal like this. Sketch is ready. If you watch this video to this time, thank you so much. My new subscribers, you are all welcome. I really appreciate my old subscribers that always come back to watch my video i will not forget to appreciate you thank you and god bless you please help me share this video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below this video what you think about this cat and so any style you want me to make please let me know at the comment section i saw for men adults for children you know female and male i saw hats what do you want me to make let me know at the comment section share this video i love you all thank you so much please subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell for more videos